Do you want to take your audio from sounding like this to this in three easy steps? Let's jump over to the computer and let me show you how. For every content creator, whether it's videos or podcasts, great audio is key for your audience. And sometimes trying to get your vocal audio to sound good can prove rather challenging, especially for those that have not edited audio before. And for me, I shoot my videos in an environment that's not acoustically great. And to be completely transparent, I film in my garage with zero soundproofing, so there tends to be a ton of echo. And inherently, this makes editing my vocal audio a bit more difficult. But I wanna show you three easy steps to make your audio sound like it was done in a studio. And yes, it involves AI. It all starts with your raw audio or video. Personally, I don't record audio separately. I record my audio straight to my camera using a shotgun mic or a lavalier mic. So I don't have to worry about syncing my audio. But if you use something like a Zoom recorder or some other audio recording device, you can skip this first step. So we need to extract our audio from our video. Usually I do this with Adobe Audition. However, for the sake of this video, we're gonna do it with DaVinci Resolve because it's free. So let's pull the video file with the audio we wanna use on the timeline. So I have mine in my downloads folder. We're gonna drag that and drop that into the media pool. Now everybody has their own workflow. I like working out of the edit tab. And I'm just gonna drag this onto the timeline. We can see the video. We can see the, uh, the audio wave, wavelength. And from here, we're just gonna go to the deliver. Next on, we're gonna go into the render settings. And in this render settings custom export section, we're gonna scroll over to audio only. We're gonna name this, I'm just gonna call this intro for short i'm going to throw this in my downloads folder and for the audio we want to make sure we click on audio we're going to make sure the format is mp3 we're going to make sure the track data rate is 320 sample rate is same as project sample rate 32 and we're only going to for this case we're only going to output bus one we're going to click add to render queue and then we're going to click render all and now we have our audio file now that we have our audio file we need to head over to podcast.adobe.com now this does require an adobe account but don't worry you can easily sign up for one for free and this is not a free trial they have a free plan so this should work until they decide to make it a fully paid feature so once you get signed in, you'll want to click on go to enhance speech. I do want to note for the free tier, they only allow up to an hour of audio a day. So 30 minutes max per upload and a 500 megabyte upload limit. And for most instances, this should be enough. But what the speech enhancer does is it uses AI and machine learning technology to clean up and enhance the audio, removing background noise, echo, and balancing the audio levels. So all we have to do is upload the file, to the Adobe Podcast Speech Enhancer and let it do its thing. And while that's going on, this is a great time to remind you if you're finding value in this video, click that subscribe button, click the thumbs up and enable notifications so you know when new content gets put out. Thanks. Now that Adobe has enhanced our file, let's go ahead and download it. And now let's go ahead and go back into DaVinci Resolve. You'll see that they put in parentheses enhanced, so you know what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that onto the, or we're gonna go back to our edit screen first. And we're gonna go ahead and drop that onto the timeline. And now, Let's compare. I'm gonna unlink those clips. Cut this right here. Cool. So 
delete all those clips and we're just going to use this piece here. Here, here we open this. Is we'll do this, and then we'll edit here. Remove that. Now let's see what it sounds like. Do you want to take your audio from sounding like this to this in three easy steps? Roll intro, and that's it. From there, you can do some additional tweaking if you feel the need, but you're at a much better starting point than you were. Let me know down in the comments if you found this video helpful and how you can see yourself using this method of enhancing your audio. But check out this video on how to enhance your microphone audio from your computer.